Hello and good afternoon. I'm Dr. Maggie Sikora, Director for the Office of Graduate and Postdoctoral Affairs, and it is my absolute honor and pleasure to officially welcome you, our new graduate students, to Carnegie Mellon University. Yeah. I am thrilled to be here and so excited that you are here too. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate the start of what is sure to be an amazing and impactful journey as a graduate student at CMU. In the Office of Graduate and Postdoctoral Affairs, it is one of our primary goals to support and enhance the graduate student experience. Over the course of the next three days, we, along with several colleagues from across the university, many of whom are here today, will be offering a variety of programs and events in joint efforts to ensure your experience begins in positive and meaningful ways. I, along with my colleagues, encourage you to take full advantage of the orientation opportunities available, both in person and online through our comprehensive Canvas courses. I also want to convey my sincere appreciation for all who have made these opportunities possible. Such collaboration and partnerships are reflective of the strong and important commitment that the university delivers to our graduate student community. As evidence of such an institutional commitment to the graduate student experience, today we are joined by several members of university leadership who will offer remarks and also express their excitement about the incredible community you are joining. My sincere gratitude to each of them, along with many members of academic, administrative, and student leaderships from across the university who are here today, throughout the week, and importantly, beyond. Together, we welcome you and remain collectively committed to supporting and enhancing your experience as a graduate student at Carnegie Mellon. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to one of your most enthusiastic supporters and a dedicated graduate student advocate, our Vice Provost for Education, Dr. Amy Berker. Vice Provost Burkert is a faculty member in the Department of Biological Sciences and also currently serves on the executive board of a national association of graduate education leaders. Dr. Burkert brings years of experience as an educator, researcher, and innovator to partner and continually enhance the CMU experience for all students. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to our Vice Provost for Education, Dr. Amy Burkert. Thank you for that kind introduction, Maggie, and for all you and the whole team of collaborators have done to make this year's graduate student orientation an excellent set of programs and experiences. I also want to recognize your own passion and commitment to supporting graduate student success. Thank you, Maggie, on your first orientation. Hello, Carnegie Mellon's incoming cohort of graduate students. We are delighted that you've decided to become a part of our academic community. And we look forward to getting to know you, and we stand ready to advance with you towards your academic, personal, and professional goals. While you have been admitted into and will be mostly focused within one of our hundreds of outstanding graduate degree programs, today, through this university-wide welcome event, we strive to illustrate to you that you are now a part of something much bigger. Today, you are officially joining a community of thousands of faculty and staff, greater than 15,000 students, and over 130 alumni spanning the globe. 
I am confident you will find Carnegie Mellon is an exceptional place to learn, to discover, to create, and to innovate. Whether in the classroom, laboratory, cluster, or studio, we are all committed to working to advance the leading edges of our fields. The expectations here are great, but the rewards are even greater. As you prepare to begin graduate training, I would like to ask you to reflect on a couple of questions. First, why did you select Carnegie Mellon for your graduate education? Perhaps it was a recommendation of a trusted professor or advisor, or maybe it was the unique interdisciplinary approaches and distinctive curricula. Perhaps it was the researchers, artists, and entrepreneurs you would have the chance to learn with and from. For each of you, the reasons may be different, but each of you selected us as the place that you will dedicate this next phase of your education. We are honored by that commitment and aspire to help you maximize your experience. Now, think for a moment, why did Carnegie Mellon select you? There were likely numerous applicants for each position, but we chose you. I am sure it's because in you we saw the potential to do great things. We saw your passion to learn and grow, to act and make a positive impact. If you look around this room, you are joined by many bright and talented individuals the best of the best from around the world. These are going to be the leaders and innovators in their fields, and you are a part of that group. The world now regularly looks to Carnegie Mellon to find the answers to complex global issues, to develop new ways of thinking. We are confident you are up to that challenge, and we are pleased to have you on our team. Now another question. How do you expect to change during your graduate career? Graduate study is actually a time of great change. You are moving along an educational co continuum that spans from student novice to scholar professional. The ethos of graduate study is unique. Your role cannot be passive. All will expect you to be an active and engaged learner, taking responsibility and ownership for your learning. It also requires a new level of independence in thought and action. It cannot be about learning for an exam or completing an assignment. You are securing a foundation of knowledge upon which your careers will be built. You need it to be solid and strong. Our faculty and staff are here to help you do just that. One final question, what impact do you aspire to have? At Carnegie Mellon, we strive to educate not just agents of change, but rather architects of change, those with the plans and ideas, as well as the ability to implement them. You all have the talent to change the world. We look forward to everything you will do while you are here and throughout your career. Colleagues and peers across the institution have worked to create an orientation to help you effectively launch your Carnegie Mellon experience. You will hear about many of the key contacts and resources to help you find answers to your questions, but also to help you see opportunities you may not even know exist yet. Be open and attentive, ask, learn, engage and connect. One of the people I would encourage you to get to know is our president. He is a nationally recognized computer scientist, entrepreneur, public servant, and higher education leader. He is also a passionate student advocate who has prioritized the holistic CMU student experience throughout his tenure here. While he's unable to be here in person due to university business, he did not want to miss the chance to offer his personal greetings to each and every one of you. And so now, 
it is my honor to introduce the 10th president of Carnegie Mellon University, Dr. Farnam Jahanian. Hello, everyone. I'm Farnam Jahanian, president of Carnegie Mellon University. I'm thrilled to welcome you, our 3,600 new master's and PhD students to CMU. Today, you begin your journey as CMU students and your lifelong relationship with Carnegie Mellon. You've traveled from 80 countries around the world to join our diverse community that spans seven schools and colleges. You are some of the most gifted engineers, artists, scientists, and entrepreneurs, and you're here because you have the talent to make your mark on our society. Today, Carnegie Mellon is at the center of a rapidly transforming world. We're driven by trailblazing faculty, staff, and students who are actively engaged in work that matters. Our community has developed CMU's reputation as a pioneer in responding to complex challenges at the intersection of technology and humanity. We've reimagined the future of education by creating a rich interdisciplinary culture across the entire campus. Our commitment to excellence and our reputation for relentless creativity delivers work that shapes day-to-day -day lives, improves the human condition, and expands knowledge to benefit society. To support our community at CMU, we've intentionally designed the campus experience to nurture both personal and academic success, including support for a healthy mind, body, and spirit. I hope you will lean on one another and tap into your close-knit community during your time at Carnegie Mellon. Make no mistake, you're here at a truly exciting time, and your passion and pursuit of excellence will make the extraordinary possible. I look forward to seeing you on campus. In the meantime, I wish everyone a fulfilling academic year. Thank you, President Jahanian, for your inspiring remarks. As mentioned in our president's speech, you are joining an incoming class of 3,600 new graduate students. Our graduate student population at all CMU locations totals just over 9,000, and here on the Pittsburgh campus, you are joining a community of slightly more than 7,800 graduate students. One of the many ways to get involved in this community is through engagement in the Graduate Student Assembly or GSA. CMU's Graduate Student Assembly is the branch of student government that represents and advocates for graduate students. The GSA has been instrumental in planning for and implementing this week's events. With that, I would like to thank the GSA and enthusiastically introduce one of the dedicated members of their leadership team and executive board. Please join me in welcoming to the stage GSA's Vice President of Campus Affairs and a doctoral student in the Engineering and Public Policy Department, Anthony Chang. Thank you for the kind introduction, Maggie. I'm Anthony Chang, uh, Vice President of Campus Affairs for the Graduate Student Assembly, or GSA, here. I'm representing our executive committee as our president, Hannah Morin, is in the midst of one of her doctoral qualifying exams right now, so she sends her regrets, but she looks forward to engaging with everyone very soon. She's finishing tomorrow. So I'm very honored to be here today and excited to welcome you all to Carnegie Mellon. I know folks are coming here from many different backgrounds, whether you're staying on for a fifth year after completing your undergraduate degree, returning to school after several years, coming back to Pittsburgh as a homegrown Yinzer, or experiencing the United States for the very first time, or any of the wide variety of experiences that our, diver our diverse graduate community has, we all welcome you to join a new class of Tartans. It's a somewhat odd time to be a graduate student. If I'm being honest, we're recovering from the largest global pandemic in 100 years, experiencing rising tuition costs and rising mental health challenges, feeling the continued threat of climate change, and not to mention the rise of an artificial intelligence and ChatGPT. It's a miracle that I wrote this speech myself, I promise. Carnegie Mellon's motto is, my heart is in the work. 
While we are all here as students and looking to enrich ourselves academically and intellectually, work can, can and should include time for personal growth and exploration. Enjoy all that CMU has to offer, both inside the classroom and outside of it. Get involved in cultural groups and your department communities, performing arts groups and social clubs, sports leagues and professional organizations. For me personally, the community at CMU has truly made my time here worthwhile. Take this opportunity in your time here, whether that be just for one year, four years or more, to meet some of the most passionate and interesting people in the world. And as you do this, don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it and to take care of yourself. Whether it's academic or career advice from a professor, staff member or peer, or just someone to talk to about the stresses of grad school, there are plenty of people who are here to, who are more than happy to help out. Please take advantage of CMU's many resources and the amazing people on campus every day. And do keep in mind that there is value in taking time off and doing things you enjoy. Pittsburgh is an amazing city, and it has a lot to offer to everyone. For all these things, getting involved, making friends, enjoying yourself, the GSA is a great resource. As a voice for graduate students on campus, we advocate for important student issues both on and off campus, from diversity and inclusion, stipend support, and family and parental care, to immigration, housing, and science policy. We also organize many events that are open to all graduate students, as well as directly supporting department events and programming. Our job is to ensure that the entirety of your graduate experience is as enjoyable and memorable as possible. The executive committee and I cannot wait to meet and get to know you all, and we look forward to speaking more in detail about GSA, our activities, priorities, and ways to get involved in our session right after this welcome address, 2 p.m. in Rangos. Um, and I, I believe it's also going to be live streamed um, uh, in uh, McConomy. With that, I'd like to thank Maggie and the rest of the Office of Graduate and Postdoctoral Affairs for their excellent efforts in coordinating the graduate orientation experience, as well as the rest of the administrative and academic leadership present today. Please do make sure to introduce yourselves and give them a thank you if you have the chance. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Carnegie Mellon's Provost and Chief Academic Officer, Jim Garrett. Prior to his appointment to this role in 2019, he served as a member of the CMU faculty for over 20 years before becoming Dean of Carnegie Mellon's College of Engineering in 2013. Provost Garrett is a lifelong tartan, having received his bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees in civil, civil and environmental engineering from this institution. Please join me in welcoming Provost Garrett. Thank you, Anthony, for that introduction and, and for your leadership as Vice President of Campus Affairs in the Graduate Student Assembly. Uh, you mentioned four years. I, I came here back in 1978 for four years, and I've been here ever since. I'm celebrating my 45th uh, year of association with Carnegie Mellon University. <clears throat> I truly appreciate I truly appreciate the partnership that we've uh, had with GSA, and I certainly look forward to continuing to collaborate this year as we work together to make your graduate student experience uh, an excellent one. I also want to thank President Johanian for the comments that uh, he offered uh, just a few moments ago, as well as uh, Vice Provost uh, Burkert and her team including Maggie, for uh, coordinating this event, which is really, it, it's an excellent annual tradition as we kick off the new academic year. As provost, it is truly my pleasure to officially welcome you as graduate students here at Carnegie Mellon University. As you continue your academic journey in higher education, you will follow in the footsteps of some of the brightest minds in the world. You join an exceptional, global, and diverse community that is truly, truly changing the world. As graduate students, you have a transformational impact on society through your innovation in education, research, creativity, and entrepreneurship. We look to you to lead important and sometimes difficult conversations, embrace inclusive excellence, and further the, our values of academic freedom and freedom of expression that are so critical 
to the vitality of an academic institution like ours. Of course, you can't do these things alone. As one of my favorite proverbs says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. To go far, in other words, to make changes that impact the world, you will need support. And you'll find that support throughout the university, from the administration, from your colleges and faculty members, and from each other. As provost, I work closely with your faculty, department heads, and your deans to prepare for your educational experiences. Our goal is to foster your leadership potential, elevate your ideas, and nurture your curiosity about the world as you develop both professionally and personally. We lean on the expertise of academic leaders throughout each of our seven schools and colleges who are committed to offering you a world-class education. Now I'd like to introduce to you some of your biggest supporters, our academic deans. They are Isabel Bajou, Dean of the Tupper School of Business. Marshall Hebert, Dean of the School of so Computer Science. <laughs> Ramaya Krishnan, Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. Curtis Meyer, Interim Dean of the Mellon College of Science. Mary Ellen Poole, the Stanley and Marcia Gumberg, Dean of the College of Fine Arts. Bill Sanders, the William D and Nancy W. Strecker, Dean of the College of Engineering. Richard Shinas, the Best Family Dean of the Mariana Brown Dietrich College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Keith Webster, the Helen and Henry Posner, Jr., Dean of the University of Libraries. This exceptional group of leaders is truly dedicated to your success, and I, I know they look forward to meeting you as you get settled into your programs in their colleges. And I myself look forward, as was expressed by Farnham, and I'm sure all of these deans, I look forward to meeting you as you uh, uh, get uh, uh, started on your graduate school journey here at Carnegie Mellon. Another campus leader I would like to introduce you to is CMU's Vice Provost for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion and Chief Diversity Officer, Dr. Wanda Heading Grant. <laughs> Dr. Heading Grant also holds a faculty appointment as Distinguished Service Professor in the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. Since joining Carnegie Mellon in 2020, she has been working with leaders and students across our campus community to make sure CMU is a place where all people feel a sense of belonging. Please join me in giving another warm welcome to Dr. Wanda Heading Grant. Thank you to Provost Garrett. It is my pleasure to be here. I can see some folk and some folk I can't, but I imagine that you all have wonderful smiles on your face. That's what I'm gonna keep in my head as I share a few words with you um, this afternoon. So I welcome you here to this exciting new chapter in your journey. As said, I am Wanda Heading Grant, I am the Vice Provost for DE&I, as well as Chief Diversity Officer. Please feel free to use she, her, hers pronouns when talking to me or asking me something. Whatever brings us together, please, those are my pronouns. I am always thrilled when a new school year begins. There is unmistakable joy in the air, mixed with anticipation and uncertainty that comes with new beginnings. This moment is like a, snap, a snapshot in times. 
catching all the possible and even the things that might seem impossible. It is a privilege to be here with you in this moment. I firmly believe in lifelong learning, and that's why your decision to continue your educational journey here at CMU is wonderful. While we celebrate your arrival on campus, remember that it's just the beginning and the journey ahead holds immense potential for growth and discovery. During this pivotal time, our aim is to provide you with a meaningful and transformative experience. I encourage you to step out of your comfort zone, connect with individuals from diverse backgrounds, and learn from perspectives that are different than your own. This process is empowering, and I encourage you to soak up every opportunity that comes your way. As we embark on this journey together, remember it's important to cultivate and nurture a community that is committed to diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, D, E, I, and B. CMU recognizes the, valuable, the value of multiple perspectives and identities on this campus. In a world marked by diversity and complexity, it is essential that we create spaces where voices are heard, perspectives are valued, and identities are celebrated. We believe that belonging and inclusion are not just buzzwords. They represent the core values that define who we are as a community. As graduate students, you are not merely recipients of knowledge, but vital contributors of ideas that shape our societal and academic discourse. We understand that it is our responsibility as a university to ensure that every student can fully benefit from the transformative power of the CMU experience, and we are dedicated to helping you achieve your highest potential. In a world characterized by constant change and uncertainty, stability has become a rarity. Disruptions and unforeseen events are the norms. This is why it is so important to leverage your, leverage your existing knowledge and be open to new information, strategies, diverse people, and perspectives. And this includes caring and assisting one another. We are here to guide you through these uncharted territories and encourage you to take scholarly risk, expand your horizons, and achieve new heights. Knowledge is indeed power. Hold yourself and others accountable and strive to build genuine connections within our community. May you forge new friendships, discover mentors, and find allies who share your vision. I wish you all an incredible year. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Dean Gina Casalino, who oversees Carnegie Mellon's Division of Student Affairs, leading nearly 20 departments that engage students in every facet of their Carnegie Mellon education. She came to Carnegie Mellon in 20, 2002 and has held a variety of leadership roles in her 21 years tenure before being named Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Gina. Good afternoon. I'm going to see those smiles as well. I can see a few of them. I did a little bit of math before I came up, and if I'm here three more years along with our provost, it means I will have been here half as long as you've been affiliated with Carnegie Mellon. So let's make that a goal, at least three more years. Good afternoon. Wanda, thank you so much for your inspiration every day and for these reflections to our newest graduate students here at Carnegie Mellon University. As Wanda said, I'm Gina Castellino. I'm Vice President for Student Affairs, and I'm your Dean of Students. And although I've been at CMU for, I'm, I'm entering into the beginnings of my 22nd year, I still get goosebumps when we have the first kickoff event to the new year 
and that's here today. It's so exciting to welcome all of you to your new academic home. Students, you've heard from our speakers today that you are embarking upon a world-class education that will push each of you to deeply explore your field of study, where you will find new real-world relevance to your work, where you will solve the problems of today's society. You heard a little bit about this from Anthony and tomorrow's. And where we know that you will thankfully contribute artistic innovation to the world. The world needs you now more than ever in my lifetime. And we are so pleased that you are joining the Carnegie Mellon community. As your Dean of Students, I have the privilege of partnering with colleagues like you've seen today and with faculty and staff across the university to best serve the needs of you, our student body. Together, we are dedicated to the development of an engaged community among faculty, staff, students, and alumni where you are supported in all facets of your experience while you do, as President Jahanian said, work that matters. That engagement begins here with orientation through programs carefully designed to help you establish a strong foundation as you launch your CMU education and build relationships with fellow students across the university. Today is just the beginning of that transformative period of your lives, and I want to share a few thoughts about my ambitions for your experience at Carnegie Mellon in the years ahead. If you start to hear some themes through the things that I will share as um, the penultimate speaker before we close with Dr. Sikora, that's intentional. I hope you will hear the threads that stretch across what you've heard each of my colleagues say up here on this stage, because that's what matters to us in the tartan fabric of who we are as an institution. You have chosen CMU to become the best and brightest in your chosen field, and we celebrate that. But it is not just the deep exploration you will chart in your program of study that sets apart a Carnegie Mellon education. To position you as leaders in your chosen fields and in your communities, we know that living life, a fully lived graduate student experience is critical to your success, not only for the years that you're here, but beyond. And what makes me to be, what makes me so proud to be your Dean of Students is the way that we as a university community position you, each and every one of you, as the student at the center of that learning and development process, that architect that Dr. Burkert talked about. For example, you had a wonderful, uh, a wonderful demonstration of that in, in Anthony Chang, we have an exemplary graduate student governing body in our GSA, the Graduate Student Assembly. Their efforts to create a voice for graduate students to develop community, to engage in lobbying on graduate student issues at the campus, local, and the national level, they are a tremendous demonstration of the ways that you as a student can take charge of your total education and make an impact. I'm deeply grateful to the GSA for their partnership and for demonstrating the value of getting involved in the life of the university. In addition to the broader Graduate Student Assembly, we have so many graduate student organizations founded and created by and for graduate students. These organizations create opportunity to convene around issues and topics that are important to you and to find a way to make a difference in your community. Seek these out. Join an organization that aligns with your interests or start a new group where you are motivated to make an impact. Another role you'll play in your own education and on campus culture connects with Anthony's remarks on wellness. If I asked you, I believe that everyone in this tent would join me to say that we are committed to and strive for a sense of belonging and personal well-being. But I also know that it can be hard to achieve these ideals when we're living and working in such a stimulating environment filled with people of great passion and talent. 
our drive to produce and to succeed can sometimes seem more important than taking care of our wellness. But let's be clear, at CMU, we care about you, the whole person, and about building a culture of health and well-being. Over the next several days, um, throughout this week, you'll learn about the various resources we have to support you along your journey. I encourage you to explore these offerings even before you might think that you need them so that you can plan how you will embark upon your graduate studies with a commitment to self-care and a genuine care of others in your program and in this broader community. Before I close, let me offer one more way to take full advantage of the learning opportunities at Carnegie Mellon. We assemble one of the most diverse profiles found in higher education with thousands of international graduate and undergraduate students enrolled on the Pittsburgh campus, hailing from countries spanning the globe, adding to a diverse mix of students from throughout the United States. You can learn what it means to be globally competent just by engaging with your peers. Consider the opportunities to shape your own worldview, to challenge your assumptions and perspectives, to value the viewpoints of others, even when you disagree, importantly, when you disagree. By merely engaging at a deep and meaningful level with your peers and with your faculty, you will gain tremendous insights that will not only enrich your own personal development, but it will position you to better understand the world around you and inform the ways that you will contribute to your community as a leader in your field. The opportunities are many. You are empowered, you have the resources and support, and you demonstrate the creativity and passion to make an impact. Again, welcome to Carnegie Mellon. We are thrilled you have joined this community and look forward to seeing all that you will contribute in the years ahead. Thank you, Dean Casolino, for your remarks and steadfast dedication to our students. And thank you to the rest of our entire team of speakers today, President Jahanian, Provost Garrett, Vice Provost Burkert and Henning Grant, and to Anthony, our GSA Vice President of Campus Affairs. Your leadership, partnership, and support is appreciated and greatly contributes to the holistic experience of our graduate students. Thank you. What an incredible start to an exciting week and year. After our closing video, members of the staff and graduate orientation team will assist with the exit process and help everyone find their way to the second floor of the Cohen University Center. As communicated earlier this afternoon, the weather service retained by the university is predicting severe weather and we will be moving indoors as a precautionary measure. We are excited to continue our programming in Rangos Hall. Up next, you will have the opportunity to meet more of our amazing GSA leadership team, followed by a presentation from key campus partners as we all continue to welcome you and help ensure that you are set up for success as a new graduate student. Thank you again and welcome to Pittsburgh and the Tartan family. The first time you see it, you don't forget. It's right there. Pittsburgh, rising above the rivers, all three of them. It's a city built to defy expectations, the odds. And that's why it's such a perfect home for Carnegie Mellon. A city like a school of tireless dreamers and restless visionaries. Good neighbors to have. All 90 neighborhoods were. A place to call home and mean it. A place for hard work and a great meal. A good cheer and a good cry. But most of all, this city of startups and upstarts is ready to see what you have to bring so it can help you bring it to the world. Your first time in every time. In the little quirks and big moves, you'll find every kind of opportunity in Pittsburgh. All you have to do now is make it yours.